I've seen a lot of issues come up through the Discord channel, and I noticed that the number one issue for everybody is Qubit. So Qubit Torrent getting that set up with a VPN seems to be a huge stumbling block for people. So today I want to do a video that's just about things that go wrong with Qubit. So uh, right now is my Trinos instance. I'm running Dockage. So I'm going to jump into my Dockage window, which is this right here. Uh, my R stack is here and Qubit is running in this. So all the way down at the bottom, if you guys are using the all-in-one stack or if you're just using regular Qubit, this is it. So this is the Docker Compose for that. And this is the Hodio container. I'm going to do the... Um, gluten one in a minute but i want to start here so the number one thing people let's let's talk about things that are going wrong first off if you're one of those people who says hey i've set up my qubit but every time i try and go to the ip address or i don't even know what the ip address is uh, i'm getting a timeout the issue for that is here is your vpn LAN network or the fact you don't know where you're going so let's say for example um, i'm running this on my true nos server which i am this is the IP of my TrueNOS, 10.99.0.191, okay? So when I go to Qubit, because this is running on port 8080, and you can see that right here, it's going to be the address of my TrueNOS server, colon 8080. That's how I get there. Um, this is not running right now, so if I go there, nothing's going to happen. But anyway, I'm actually going to have to start this in a minute. We'll see. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. We'll start all that. So that's the first thing. Uh, so if you go to your IP address and you go to 8080 and you're not getting anything, the reason for that might be your VPN LAN network. This line has been tripping a lot of people up. And here's why. They don't understand the fact that this doesn't look like an IP address they've ever seen. This is what's called CIDR notation, C-I-D-R, which is an interesting way of saying this covers a whole range of addresses. So, for example, I'm going to pull this in here. If I want to cover 10.99.0.1 all the way to 10.99.0.255, right? If I want to cover these, this address space, I can't just type this line directly into this spot over here, the VPN LAN network. It won't work. It needs a, it needs a different type of notation. So if I want to cover this whole address range, 10.99.0.0/24 is the same thing as this. That means in this case, every address that's between 10.99.0.1 and 10.99.0.255 is this. Sometimes you guys might see us abbreviate as a subnet mask 255.255.255.0. This is also the same thing. These two things um, are basically equal. This, this subnet mask is the same thing as the slash 24. So when you're doing this, again, the key is whatever your IP address is has to be what you put in here for the slash 24. So if I'm a 1099.0. something, it's 1099.0.0 slash 24. If you're one of the regular people that has like a 192.168.0. something or a 192.168.1. something, that's what goes in here. 192.168.1.0 slash 24 or one dot zero uh, sl dot zero slash 24 whatever it is that's what goes in here so if you can't reach your web GUI but you know qubit torrent is running that's probably your first problem but what if qubit torrent isn't running one of the things that goes on here is that um you have to have a vpn to make this work so a lot of people say hey i don't know what to do with this my number one recommendation first let's come off over here let's look at the example wire guard configuration this WireGuard configuration. If you go to AirVPN, which is the VPN I recommend you use, if you guys are on the Nord VPN, everybody in the Nord VPN crew, I'm very sorry for you because I've heard so much. Everybody's having trouble with Nord VPN. If you're on Nord, I would tell you the number one problem is the fact that you're on Nord VPN. That's probably the issue. It's probably not something you're doing. Uh, for PIA and Proton, I'm going to go into those in a minute. But when you go to AirVPN or something like that, you're going to get a file that looks like this. This is just the one that I copied out. Now, again, your private key, your public key, I just masked those out. This is all garbage data, but it's going to look something like this, right? So here's what you're going to do with that in case you don't know what you're doing. We're going to want to come over here into our dockage. Now, our qubit is probably not running. Again, if you're one of those guys that, hey, my qubit keeps going on and off and on and off and on and off and it's not running, okay. Um, it's probably because you didn't put the VPN in. That's the right thing. Qubit torrent should not run without a VPN. That's called a kill switch. That's a, that's a feature, not a bug. Uh, that's what you want. So if you started up this whole one stack thing and you haven't done your VPN yet, because of course, how could you? Um, you just started it for the first time and these data sets haven't been made yet. Um, yours should be failing. So here's what we're going to do, because I know where my, my configs, here's my configs folder, right? Configs qubit. So what I want to do is I'm coming up through here. We can do all that stuff. Tank uh, stacks. 
R stack qubit. Okay, this is the same place I was. If I do remove wg0.conf, then I do a nano wg0.conf like that. I'm basically just going to take everything that my VPN gave me. I'm going to hit Control C, then I'm going to hit Shift Insert, right? Then I hit Control X, then Control Y, and then hit Enter. There we go. That's how that works. Now I just broke this because the WG0 file that was in here before is an actual WireGuard file. The one I replaced it with is going to break, and that's fine. I'm going to show you exactly what it's going to look like when that happens. <laughs> So the VPN here is turned off. So VPN enabled, I'm going to want to turn that on to show you guys what it's going to do when it dies. But it doesn't really matter. Um, so again, this is a modified file. Let's show you guys what it looks like when this fails. Come in here to true. All right. And deploy. So if you're having trouble with the WG0 file, this is where it goes. Just take whatever it gives you and copy it right in that directory and then restart your stack. And that's how it's going to work. So you'll see here the qubit torrent has completely failed. See the way it's looping in these logs? Everything successfully stopped. It stopped. It keeps trying to start up and it keeps dying. That's because the WG0 file is not in it. So in my TrueNOS shell, if I was to come in here, I'd have to change this WG0 file to a real config file. In the meantime, qubit is just going to be in this endless loop of starting and stopping. So when I come over here to 8080, it's going to say, oh, no, it's broken. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. So that's that one. Let's look at the gluten one. Let's come out over here. Gluten, gluten, qubit. Okay. This is the gluten and qubit um, Docker Compose. You're not going to touch anything on the qubit side. Everything's just going to stay where it is except for probably your volume out or your path. These volumes might have to change. But up here, what we're going to do, if you're having issues with this, if you don't, this, I see a lot of people say, oh, I don't have a private key or I don't have all these things. Um, that's probably your VPN. You got to go back in and make sure they give you the right stuff. Fill out as much of this as you can. Now, some of the stuff is optional, for example. So if you have a port forward, you're going to want to put your port forward right behind the 6881. Um, everything else is just going to be a simple copy paste. So when WireGuard endpoint IP, um, right here, endpoint. The port right here, 51820. The public key, public key right there. Copy that and paste that. Private key, private key, right there. Copy and paste that. Pre-shared key, copy and paste that. Endpoint address, this is addresses, first line up here. Copy and paste that. Uh, and that's that's the whole thing. You're just literally just copying and pasting right into this Docker Compose file from the WG0 uh, with a WireGuard config file that your VPN provider, provider gives you. So if you're having problems with that, that's basically how that's done. If you're using Hodio, you just want to copy and paste everything. Don't touch anything. If you're using Gluten, you just want to copy and paste these fields into here. If you don't have one of them, try it without it. If it doesn't work, it's probably because you don't have it. Get, go back to your VPN provider. Again, AirVPN, I love them. Um, I have no issues with them. I've never had any issues with them, so I, I, I recommend that. One of the other issues I see a lot of guys have is they're having issues when it comes to writing. So they'll have, um, let's close out of this, stock is here. Yeah, you're going to keep crying, so we're going to stop this whole stack. Let's stop it and activate. Okay. The other issue I see people having is they're going to get this error that says something like, hey, I'm having an, an issue writing to the drive. So whenever you're in Qubit or you're in Radar or something like that, you'll get it. Um, let's see if I, okay, I'm going to slide this over a little bit. This is kind of hard to read, but let me see if I can blow it up. Okay, here we go. So if you get one of these, like file alert, torrent, yada, 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 reason, reason, yada, 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 no error, no such file or directory or permission denied, either one of these two errors, see this little slash is what it's trying to do. This means your volume path is wrong. Anytime you see a no such file or a permission denied on exact thing, this I'm going to scroll over a little bit so I can make this a little bit bigger. Um, just come down over here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to read, but basically this is a test. I, this is the way that you test this. When you get your qubit running, you find you try and get nubuntu.iso, um, and then you just try and download it directly by adding it to qubit. So this person did that. This is actually from the real support form on Discord, and uh, they got this error. And the reason they're getting this error is because their mount path is wrong. And the reason you can and you can see that here because you can immediately see that this M in media is capitalized. I'm going to tell you if you have capitalization anywhere in your server, that's the first thing I'm going to tell you on the Discord channel. It changed. Uh, it, capitalization is going to kill you in Linux because Linux is a case sensitive 
operating system and all of this is Linux. So do not use capitalization anywhere. If you do go and look at the video that I made that tells you how to rename uh, pools and data sets and all such things um, in order to do that. Cause it's just, it's not, it don't, don't do not, do not use capitalization. So if you're seeing that, let's go back to the qubit stack right here. Let's come back down. Okay. Let's look at these paths. I'm going to try and look at these paths here. Yeah, this is, I think it's probably better to look at these. So let's start by the config path. The config path is probably fine. That's not your issue. Your issue is going to be the media path. So on the left, if you've never seen my uh, Docker Compose Crash Court video, let's kind of look at over here, is on the left is going to be the side that it is on your TrueNOS server. So on the actual TrueNOS server for us, our data set is in media. So this is this whole thing is slash mount. This part is slash tank. This part is slash media. And I'm going to show you that here. There's the media, print working directory, mount tank media. This is our directory. So in this directory, we have all of our stuff. Um, and this is some other stuff I had from another demonstration, but this is our movies, this is our TV, and this is our downloads. This is what, and this is what Qubit needs. But we wanna pass the entire directory, we wanna pass this whole directory into Qubit. So if you pass the wrong directory, like by capitalizing media or putting spaces or anything in here that's wrong, if, if this part of the path is wrong and you go to put it in dockage and it's in the wrong spot on this side, or you capitalize something on this side or whatever it is, is not gonna work. You're gonna get the error I just showed you. What you wanna do is you wanna pass the entire media directory, Mount Tank Media, not Mount Tank Media downloads, it's gonna go there. But for hard links to work, especially across all your R's, you want to have Mount Tank Media, the entire media directory, passing all these folders in there on the left side of your volume mount. On the right side, you're going to pass it as just slash media. Now, again, if you haven't watched the video, watch the video on Docker Compose Crash Course. Slash media is what it looks like to qubit. So if I go into qubit and I look for, like, for example, if I try and find the path slash mount slash tank slash media it's not going to find it it's going to be like i have no idea what you're talking about there is no such thing as mount tank media inside qubit because in qubit we're mounting it as just slash media so when you go to set your downloads path in the um the page uh, of qubit so you go to your qubit settings and you go to downloads it you should save it you'd be saving your torrents as the default save location for torrents is slash media slash downloads that's where it should go all lowercase, no spaces. So these are the common errors I'm seeing on Qubit. If you have any one of those errors, this should pretty much set you straight. That covers, I can't get to my web GUI, I, my server starts, keep starting and restarting, or my VPN's not working, uh, and oh, I have permissions errors where like I try to save something and nothing will save, or all of my torrents error out. That's again, another permissions problem. That's probably your volume out, uh, or your PUID and GID. The only other thing I want to talk about here is your data set. So when I look at Mount Tank Movies, Mount Tank Media Downloads, you'll notice that apps and apps are the user and group. If your downloads path is not apps and apps and your media path is not apps and apps, let's come out of here. You'll notice media itself is apps and apps. All these users and groups have to be right. If these are wrong, if this doesn't say apps, apps, you're going to get another permission denied. So that's probably another issue that people are coming across. So if you have any of those issues, go back and check all of those things. And if you're still having issues, definitely jump on the Discord channel. But this should cover like 99% of the things that I'm seeing guys have.